Hi everybody, welcome to Hummingbird Tales. I'm Tina and uh, I would just like to wish you all a happy day. The sun is shining and I've got a DT project to show you, my design team project for Artie Mays. Um, what I have used for this, in this little um, project here, I've used a touch of spring digital kit and for these I've used um, elements of Andrea's collage kits. But I'll go into detail that in a moment. I just wanted to say quickly um, that there's been an awful lot of talk on a lot of the um, journal type Facebook pages about how people that use digital kits are not very imaginative and it really saddens me because if we all knew how much work went into these kits and how fortunate we are as crafters to have access to such beautiful artwork that someone has taken the time to sit there for hours on a computer working out how to make their pages work so we can benefit. And the thing is, you don't need to use the digital kits as they come. You know, um, it doesn't matter what we use. It Someone somewhere had to design it. Someone somewhere had to design music paper, book pages, an envelope. It doesn't matter. And I just wanted to say that if it wasn't for the digital kits... I would never have got into this because I would never have known where to start. I wouldn't have the confidence to start. And that was two and a half years ago when I made my first kit that I did purchase from Artie Mays. And I still use them. And also sometimes I don't. Like recently when I made my black, white and cream vintage little bits and pieces. But I use them because they spark my imagination. And if there's a theme I want to do... Um, create a journal with or I don't know some tags with and I'm stuck or even if I'm not stuck the colours the graphics the themes they're all there all there to inspire you and they are so much cheaper than buying pads of paper which I still use as well so please don't think that anybody who uses digital kits have not got any imagination they truly truly have and a lot of the most wonderful top designers I'll say on our art journaling junk journaling community use them and we are so fortunate to have that um, I hope to show you in this little thing here that you don't have to use digital kits as they come when you print them off again I'll give you an example this is a touch of spring this is one of the journaling pages and here I did have which where's it gone Sorry, I keep talking. There we go. There's some journaling cards. Now the palette on this is very cream, green, lemon, fresh, beautiful. And I've used this as the foundation of what I've created in my design team project. But you will see that it doesn't look very much like the kit. But you can still see parts of it. And this is the beauty of these. This is a page... Um, from one of the uh, from the same kit I should say and you can fold it like that and use it like that coffee diet like I have or you don't or you can alter it it's absolutely up to you so please I want you to really really think about um, the digital kits because they are fantastic and the work that goes into them is phenomenal and we are so blessed as crafters to have access to all these wonderful things to help us and at the end of the day, isn't it just about expressing ourselves and creating beautiful things? So I want to thank all of the digital makers out there, all of the people that spend that time making these beautiful kits for us. And moving on swiftly, I'll put these to the side a moment. So this is my design team project. It's from using the Touch of Spring digital kit from Andrea of Artie Mays. And the front cover, I've got a squirrel and just layering upon layering of lots of different fabrics, trims, appliques. Underneath I've done decoupage, stamping, painting, a lot of mixed media in this. And we'll open it up and as you can see it's not looking anything like the kit but I promise you that is what inspired this and that is what I've used throughout. So first of all we have this pocket here I'll just bring it up a bit closer. You can see here that I've made a little collage. Now these birds were from the kit and I made a little, hopefully it looks like a little nest in branches. 
and this pocket I'm just going to undo the bow so I can explain when it comes in the kit it is designed to stick down like that you have a piece that goes across here to create a pocket which I've used inside and then you can tuck in the top but I've used it a different way I've also cut out the little fairy from one of the mini journaling cards and decoupaged her on here. I've added colour with pinks and lemons and greens. And then we open it up, and I'll just so you don't get too much sensory overload, I just put that there a moment. And this is what I've created inside. So this is the pocket here which was supposed to go across the front and I've actually used it inside and created like a little gate and these tags are all made with pages from the kit that I have collaged on, um, stamped on admittedly this little bunny is from an old book those birds are from the kit I've collaged up here, added paint lots of little embellishments, lace but that is the pocket that goes across the front. And then here, I've got a tag that I've made. And it's also one of Andrea's um, videos from Marty Mays where she makes springtime tags that I've used this. The actual tag is a page from the kit. The bunny is from the kit. And this little bird up here with its nest, if you can see, he's also from the kit. And this is how my imagination is sparked. So I'm going to stop waffling now about digital kits and just show you what I've made. On the back here, I've got some lined paper, which is also in the springtime kit. And this is how I've decorated the back or the inside. So that's that. And on the back of these as well, there's some writing paper from the kit. So that ties there. And then on this side, okay, I've got, um, I didn't put any backing paper here. This is just from the folder that I made. I will put a in the description below all the tutorials of Artie Mays that I have used to make this, okay? Um, so in the top here we'll go. I've made another collage tag. The fox is from a little book and I've got decoupage bits here, but the back of it, the actual background of this is a page from the kit that I've altered. And there's a lined paper there. And here we've got a tag from the kit and it's come as it is. Because I've done a lot of decoration and embellishing on all the pockets and things, I didn't want to put too much in the um, actual pockets. This is one of the tags in the kit and all I've done is I've used this here which is one of the freebies that Andrea has given us. It's a sheet of paper with all these beautiful flowers and there's a bit of a postcard here and a bit of book page and um, that graph paper is from the kit. So I just did a little collage, put some little trim in and on the back I've used the backing paper that's included in the kit. And here is one of the journaling cards. Now I've left it quite... Um, original to the design as it came in because I really loved it. I've just done a little bit of stamping, a little bit of staining and edged it with some um, st um, stitching. And then you've got that paper on the back as well. So that goes in there. And I will just show you the collage here, the pocket. Again, this is one of the, um, it's either one of the pockets that goes across the top of the large pockets that I just showed you, or I've cut this out of a book page. I cut a uh, um, one of the book pages in the kit I can't quite remember and I've just layered it up with bits of fabric these little mice from a book there's paint, ink all kinds of stuff and a little collage down here of bits and pieces lace on the side okay whoopsies, going the wrong way now okay so we turn the page and we have a three page spread I'll actually use a piece of paper so on the first page here, I've got, again, a tag from the kit. I've cut this out of one of the, um, I think it's a miniature journaling card and there's a ticket and something in behind. It's all from the kit. This tag was from the, one of the tags from the kit and that's a butterfly, which I believe came from a page of butterflies that Andrea 
um, also has in one of her kits, I can't remember which one, and a bit of trim and again the same backing paper and here I've cut out one of the envelopes and again because the colours were very pale I just added a bit of dark, bit of um, distress ink to it and all to make it fit in with what I wanted to get um, for this, you know, for the whole theme of it and I haven't put anything in there at the moment. And then the pocket or the tuck spot I should say again is a piece of a page from the kit and I've just decoupaged over it, layered it up. I mean, these things change because you add and add and add, but I didn't have to. I just ended up there, you know, by creating because of the inspiration that I had. All right, so that's that page. And then in the middle, I've got a pocket here, and I know that I've cut this out of a book page. Can you see that? I'll bring it up, I'll fold that back. I know that I've um, cut that out of a book page and I've created a collage here. Again, this is a little card from the kit, the birds. I've cut them out, I've cut spring out and just layered it and decoupaged and um, added gesso. And then the tags, that's one of the postcards from the kit. Again, I just sewn around, added some backing paper and uh, put a bit of ink there. This is a tag from the kit and I've cut the iris out of the large pocket. I've cut the bunny out of one of the tags and I've just done a little tiny collage picture here and done some stamping. Just using what's in the kit. And then this is a nature spring tag that I made. Again, um, this was so Andrea's idea from one of her videos which I will link below. And uh, the back of this is the actual jumbo tag that came in the kit. And it just turned out this way. And then that's the lined paper from, one of the, from this kit. Oh, what I will say is the reason why I've got this on here is because I allowed the inks to bleed from one page to the next. Which is a technique that um, I learned off Janet um, Hicks. And I'm sure there's lots of people that do these sorts of things out there. And then the very last page on this, this whole card, um, this is all made up from bits from the spring kit. There's the birds in the background on the nest, which I cut off a journaling card. That bunny is from a book, um, but there's decoupage and all sorts of stuff. This came from the kit, I chopped that out. I think that was a little postcard. Added flowers, trim, sewing, music paper. And then these are a little shrunk down. Um, that's a journaling card from the kit and that's a little postcard from the kit. And I kept them, again, as they came really, because it fitted in well there as they were. In the side here, I have got an envelope. Now that envelope came from the kit as an envelope and all I've done is added colour because I love these birds. So the colour to fit in with everything else, stamps, decoupage, some napkin, um, added some ink and then I did the same on the back and that's the inside. And in here I've got one of the cards from the kit and it's backed in the backing paper. I've, I've just so enjoyed making this. It's been so much fun. And then we'll go over here. So I've flipped the page over. This time I've used the pocket, typically, as it should have been used, but I didn't put a piece across here. Instead, I've made a little collage down here with bits and pieces and created a little tuck to put one of the tags that comes in the kit and that is the actual side it, uh, size it prints out and I've added lint trace and um, collage and bits and pieces here on the bottom there's a little butterfly hanging off here tied on with a piece of um, um, twine and then here I've created a tag and that was actually one I think it was that side 
of the actual pocket. So I cut it out and made it into a tag. Just added some ink, a little bit of trim, sewed around it. So, you know, there is so much you can do with journaling kits. It is endless. Here's another spring tag that I created. Very colourful. Again, the back of this was um, either a book page or it was the jumbo tag that you can print off to start with. And there's lined on the back. And the back, I actually kept plain. Well, I say kept plain. It's decorated. This is how the whole thing was decorated um, when I first made it before I added all of the elements on top. So I hope you like that and I hope that you can see that you can buy these digital kits and do all sorts of lovely things with them. It is limitless. So that's that. I'll put him over there. And then I don't want to crush my flowers actually. And then moving on from that, I have these little coin envelopes. I have put these up on Instagram and Facebook, um, but didn't have time to video it. So I've combined it into this video. Now these were made using the collage kits that Andrea's got for sale in her shop. And I'm going to show you a couple of sheets so you can see how they come. I think there's two of these, possibly three kits. I know there's one with mushrooms and ferns, but these, as you can see, there is so much there that you can use. And you can either cut these out in their own right and use them as a tag. So just cut there, the tag shape, and you've got your tag. Or you can just cut bits and pieces out from them. But they are absolutely beautiful. Look at the pink roses. I mean, I could use that in a vintage journal. And this one. I'm not going to show you them all because there's quite a few of them. But I just wanted to show you how they come and how you can cut things out and use them. The clock that I used for the closure there was in there. So that's those. And also in one of the um, kits, the collage kit, she's got a selection of different colour backing sheets. So they come in a variety of colours. And this is what I've used for the insides of my coin envelopes. Again, this will all be listed in descriptions. So if I start with this one, these are, this one was definite nature theme. I'll move these out of the way. So here I've got, I used some card and made the actual coin envelope. And then before I sewed it together, I covered the inside part with the backing paper. So that was obviously down here and I folded it up and sewed it. That's all it is, a strip of paper that I sewed up to make the pocket. And then on the back, um, I've actually ripped up bits of the collaging sheets and made another collage and gessoed over it and stamped over it to create some layers and some interest. And I really roughly sewed around because I wanted this to look quite rustic. And down here, I've made a little um, cluster with a butterfly. Again, um, Andrea from Marty Mays has got tutorials on how she makes these, so I'll link that below. And for the closure, I've just got a circle cut out of a piece of card with a brad on and I attached some yarn, not yarn, string. <laughs> so that's that one. This one was a bit more of a vintagey sort of feel or it's quite whimsical actually. And if you can see here, for example, I've got little forget-me-nots. Well, that actually came out of one of the sheets, um, the first sheet I showed you here I cut the little flowers out there so they're absolutely brilliant to use so let's wind that one around and off and this one has got black and white twine on it and I think I've just wound myself right around and my caught up here there it is so that's the string and on the end there I put a little tiny tag which was made out of one of the backing papers and some music paper and on the back of that it's just coffee paper sorry I'm going off um, so there's the clock and I lift it up and I've got blue backing paper here you can see that the little brad is attached there you can cover that if you wish and then here I just put one of the collaging sheets made a little pocket to match with a little forget-me-not 
and create a little tag and that was one of the um, bits of collage as well and on the back I've got coffee paper and that's the back I mean so beautiful and again I just sewed around really really roughly and then last but not least is this little one here and for this one I just used the collage sheet as it was there's the inside paper that's the collage sheet I didn't collage on top of it I just used it as it came but what I did do is I just added a couple little red flowers decoupaged on from a napkin I didn't add any stamping no I didn't on this or anything because it was as pretty as that and then some red twine um, Andrea is bringing out a tutorial soon on how she made these coin envelopes because she's the one who actually talked me so um, look out for that oh sorry everybody just um, hit the camera um, so anyway I, I just want to thank you for watching I hope you like what I've made and you get some inspiration from it I will link below like I said all of the tutorials but if you have any questions and you know or um, inquiries or whatever you want just leave me a comment below, below and I will answer you and uh, I just want to thank you for taking the time for watching and I'll be back again soon with another project bye for now